What's up guys, this is part 20 of my Pokemon Let's Play uh, Pokemon Sword. Um, I'm Crispy Charizard, but you can call me Chris. And last time, our uh, starter evolved into... Into, um... Inteleon. So, give me a second just to change this. Okay, boom. Through the magic of uh, editing, or rather... Just, just, yeah, I uh, evolved um, into Inteleon up there. So now I have still two Pokemon. Um, uh, any other Pokemon that I per plan to put on my team are definitely Surfetch, the fighting type. Don't know where to catch that yet. And um, Grimmsnarl, which means I'm going to have to catch an Impidim. Now, I already have two Impidim from trades, but I want to catch it naturally in-game because it's not fair to use trades for me. Like, it's just, it's fine. So even though I already have Impidim, I'm gonna catch one in game, and then it's gonna go on my team. Okay, so yeah, uh, I already caught all the Pokemon that I've seen on this route, including uh, Pseudo Widow, Coughing, Hatena, and um, Knockout. Oh, also a Sock. It could have been rare, but I caught a Sock. Oh, lucky we found Ponyo too. Okay, so we'll just catch this real quick. One second. I did not take long because it wasn't even a oh, wow, surprising. I don't know if we're gonna get to Cobb with this episode because we still haven't reached Moto Stuff again. Cutting edges, blade Pokemon. This thing is just so sharp. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure we can continue. What trainer class is this? Madam. Haven't seen one yet. Of course, she hasn't seen Wow. Let's see how our water type fares against the Yamper. Our overpowered water type. Okay, also, I used the Shadow Ball and Ice Beam on uh, Italian. I couldn't help myself. They were TRs. So, yeah. Um, I have two Shadow Ball first. Nice. That's a nice animation right there, both for the move and for the Pokemon. It's so nice how everyone can have different opinions about Pokemon. Like me, I like Intelligent. Whoa. Those sparkles, was that because of it was a Luxury Ball? For a second I thought it was one of those um, shinies, but no, it was just... It wasn't a shiny, it was just a Luxury Ball, wasn't it? I'm gonna look back in editing, we'll see. Um, yeah, some people say that, that Inteleon is designed so badly that you should just kill it. And I can understand why you think that. It, it, even I'm not in love with it. But, like, you know, I don't think you should kill it. I like it, you know? This time let's use Ice Cream. Let's see what it looks like in this game. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I love it. Okay, so now we are fully evolved and overleveled, and we learned some TR moves. Oh, level 36. Oopsie. Ah, well. At least Kabu won't be a problem. I can't believe we're so overleveled. Everyone's my fan. Everyone knows my name. Excuse me, officer. Hello, hello, what's all this then? Fancy scrap with a copper? Yeah, I'll scrap with a copper, police officer Raymond. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I can't stand his face though, it's just so... Yikes. Anyway. Hello, Gorilla. Let's use Snapshot. Wait one second. Wait one minute. Wait one minute. I have... Something just entered my mind. I was like... Like, the moment that you snipe shot, I was reminded that this is the... The secret agent Pokemon. And I was like, wait one second. 
Wait one second. Sabo, not Italian, but Sabo, is number seven. Because it would have been such a coincidence not if Italian was number seven, because 007 is a big reference to James Bond, the secret agent. So Intellion, the secret agent, is evolved from 007. It's just a coincidence, right? The name's Intellion. Okay, let's cross this bridge. Health feather. Resist feather. Pink feather. Health feather. And we're in motor stoke, and that did not take long. Actually, let's battle cobble this episode because I uh, beat Milo in, in part 16. I beat Nessa in part 18. So if we're going to continue this pattern of gym, no gym, gym, no gym, I think part 20 is when we, um... I think part 20 is when we have to beat Kabo. Okay, so I healed up at the Pokemon Center. Did my shopping and everything like that. I uh, handled my Pokemon boxes, um... Oh, it's Marnie. Our favorite person. This is going to be our first battle with her. battling Morning for the first time. More Pika. This is the first time we'll be seeing it on, uh, in battle. More Pika. I don't know what type it is though. Completely slipped my mind. Electric. And then Electric Dark. Once it switches... Each turn, it turns, it changes its form every turn, I forget. Um, over level, yikes. No challenge whatsoever. And she's a scraggy. Oh man, she's so likable though. We'll use our signature move to finish it off, and I feel so sorry because I love Marnie so much. She's so likable as a character. Even though Team Yellow is annoying. Horrible. I don't want to beat Marnie, I want her to win. That's how popular she is. Okay. Well, we're still gonna beat the co uh, the gym today. No doubt. Friend of yours already went off to challenge the next gym. Cabo's Lee card is supposed to help against him. 
But I ended up with a few copies. So I'll give you one. It's no big deal. Okay, so now we get the Kabuzli card. Two burn heals. Yeah, I feel so bad for beating her. She's so popular though. She's so likable. So sweet. She's so friendly, too! Hello, Hop. What's up now? Why is he always ahead of us? That's no fair. Oh, we will beat Kagwa, right? Not with our starter, there's no way we'll lose. Okay, time for our third gym. Oh, it's different. I wonder how. A fire gym. Oh, it's wild grass? Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn 5 points to clear the gym mission. In case you're wondering, earn 1 point for defeating a Pokemon. 2 points for catching a Pokemon. Okay. That's weird. I don't know if I like this type of challenge. I think I'll catch this lit. Might as well since I don't have it yet. Ooh, a sizzle pee. Please work. Balls are great, aren't they? Hey, does the Pokemon go on my team? That's that's why I, that's why I was like, what? This is weird. Another child snatcher? There's so many of them. Oh. Okay, it's in my party. Two points. Okay. Okay, so even if I didn't have Flash Fire and catch this in a while, they still would have given it to me this free encounter for this gym, so yeah. There was no way I'm letting this go um, by, like, uncatched because it's just so easy. I'm getting tired and fatigued from lack of uh, nutrients. I think I need to eat lunch soon. Of course, I already have Vulpix. Oops. Okay, just one more victory. I really don't want to catch Vulpix, but maybe I will. Okay. 
I could always put them up on surprise trade. No problemo. Six points. Yeah, I'm on fire. Okay. Part 20. It's time for the gym battle. I don't even need to heal my Pokemon. What's he doing on this side? I'm confused. Don't we always, with Milo and Nessa, always come out on opposite sides? Am I the one who made a mistake, or is this guy one of those weirdos who just always or act uh, act in a silly manner? But no, he seems serious. We'll, we'll just roll with it. We'll just roll with it. No big deal. <laughs> Welcome, I'm Kabu, the Fire-type gym leader. The fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo and Nessa's types. It's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer in Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory. But that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Whoa, I like the design. Shot all this Pokemon. Hand Dynamax with this same time, I bet. Yeah, that's the power of the leveling and training and grinding. Ooh, we're gonna level up by the end. Arcanine. Yikes. I love Arcanine. That won't do you any good. Nice shot. The music to my ears, people cheering me on. Critical hit too. Level up already, wow. Sent to Scorch. I know it's probably not gonna be Gigantamax Sent to Scorch, because I've heard there's a Gigantamax Sent to Scorch. But, um, Dynamax Sent to Scorch is still. I'm still considering putting it on my team, but I'm like, I don't know. Not my type. Let's go. the first time we Dynamax after evolving into instead of that's one big lizard Gigantamax? He's Gigantamaxing! How come Nessa didn't do that? His eyes were on fire! It's like an anime! Oh man, he can't the max. Oh boy, and he's close to our level. But we still won. Okay. Um. 
Yeah, I'm sorry if I've been over leveled for this so far, but in the future, I promise, they're gonna catch up to us. We're gonna have problems. But I feel like a prodigy, the fact that we keep one-shotting all of our opponents in one hit. It makes me feel so... power-hungry. Pathetic. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we have talent, all right. Finally, we get the fire badge. Level 35. Now we're going to go to the wild area and catch Pokemon. Oh, he's talking about culture, very refined. Okay. Whoa. I, I one shot that Gigantamax sent to Scorch. Ooh, a TM. Will it was okay. And the fire uniform. Hammerlock is our next destination, which makes sense because we are going through the wild area. So we can't take the train. That's fine. I was gonna go to the wall area anyway. Now I've already been to the wall area dozens of times when I shouldn't have been, but well, I think we've gone far enough today. We'll end the episode after this. Now what? Oh, it's covered. <laughs> he still thinks he's gonna be the next champion. Respect. Blind Texas. Hammerlock, here we come. Okay. Back in the wild area. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna catch all the Pokemon. Huh. Huh. <laughs> oh, 
I wonder who's gonna win. Well, yep, it's time I end the episode over here. Thank you guys for watching. Please uh, like the video if you enjoyed it uh, and subscribe to my channel. Check it out for more videos like this and uh, let your friends know. Uh, share it with them and hit the notification bell to help me out. I'll see you guys next time.